One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Wow, must be close. Who? The lightning. Lightning? Yeah, that big light in the sky. The sun? No, not this time. The lightning was that big flash just now. (gasps) Did someone take our picture? They should, we look good today, but no. Lightning is electricity that happens in the sky. Oh, okay. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Whoa. My next question is, what is electricity? Electricity is a kind of energy. An energy that humans can use to make lots of different things happen. Without electricity, there would be no doorbells to let us know when there are strangers near the house. There'd be no lights to let us know when the humans are home. No televisions to stare at, no laptops for cats to sit on, no vacuums to bark at. So it's like magic. It's like science, which is a kind of magic, I guess. There are different types of electricity too. When electricity gathers in one place, it's called static electricity. But when it moves about, it's called current electricity. When it comes from the sky, it's called lightning. But all kinds of electricity are caused by the behaviour of electrons. Electrons? Yeah. Um, imagine the smallest thing you can think of. A tree. Uh, no. A house. No. Uh, The sky. You are literally only listing large things. Okay, try thinking of a penny. Wow, that's quite small. Yes, that's the idea. But did you know, even something that small is made of billions of even smaller things called atoms. They're so small that they can't be seen with the naked eye, but they are the essential building blocks of basically everything in the world. Wow. But if we go even smaller, those building blocks have building blocks of their own. And some of those blocks are called electrons. That's that word you said. Each atom has a middle bit made of neutrons and protons. And then it has electrons that fly around it. Each atom has the same number of protons and electrons. And this is because the protons are way too happy and the electrons are way too angry. So together they make one completely chilled atom. But because the electrons are flying about angrily, sometimes they fly off and get stuck to a different atom. So then there are two atoms that have the wrong number of electrons. Yep. One atom is now too happy, let's call it a positive charge, and the other atom is now too angry. We can call that a negative charge. Those two charges are attracted to each other so that the atoms can get the right number of electrons back. And that's how we get static electricity. And content electricity? Current electricity. Well, that's when the electricity is carried about by all the electrons doing their angry flying. But to use electric currents to make lights and TVs work, you need to have a circuit. Oh, but I hate clowns. They waste so much pie. Circuit. Circuit. A conduit for the electrical current. Explain yourself. (sighs) Okay, think of electricity as food. So far, so good. And the lights and TV are you. Yay, me! And for you to work properly, you need food for energy. True. But right now, the food is still at the shop. That's the power supply. How does it get from the shop to you? My human brings it. Sure, but how do they do that? They must have to use roads. Well, that's what a circuit is. It's like a road that connects the power supply and the stuff that needs to be powered so that the electrical current can travel along it. And it travels super quickly. More than 186,000 miles per second. Faster than the speed of sound. That's why you always see lightning before you hear it. Wow, I think I get it. Humans must have been very smart to find out all about electricity. True, though it's hard to say when they did find out. Some humans think it was Benjamin Franklin, using a kite and a key, who first discovered electricity. And well, whilst he did seem to love lightning and risk-taking a lot, he didn't make the discovery. Just learn more about it. And digging humans have found very old things which could have been early batteries dating back hundreds and hundreds of years. That's really cool. So where is the battery that powers the lightning? Well, there isn't one. Lightning is caused by static electricity, not current electricity. It doesn't need a circuit. Just charged atoms. That's right. You're really getting the hang of it. Learning is an adventure. Well, luckily, there's loads more to learn about electricity. We've barely even started on the history of electric innovation. And then there's electromagnetic fields and conductors and insulators. One Mississippi. But maybe we should leave it for another day.